purpose of a tutorial is to have a chance to show work um, that you're in the process of making um, and possibly work that you may have completed um, and you'd like to receive feedback from students and lecturers uh, to see uh, if it's actually saying what it is that you're intending to say and possibly um, giving you insight into some things that you might not know that you're saying. Well, I'd say the purpose of the tutorial is um, an opportunity for classmates to engage with the work and so that the, as a maker you can understand how your work's received and what it's communicating and then an opportunity to reflect back and maybe make changes or if it's revealing something that you weren't aware of. Uh, I think the purpose of a group tutorial is to be able to bounce ideas and concepts off each other in a safe space. I think the purpose of a tutorial is to discuss your work, uh, discuss what you're thinking about your work um, and discuss what you want to achieve in your work um, and to get feedback from uh, your teacher or um, fellow students. That's what I think the tutorial's for. I think the purpose of the tutorial is to, first of all, get a general feedback from your peers and as well as the staffs. And also the feedbacks can be used to either navigate, like to gain a better understanding of how your work is being tested in a, um, like from other people's perspective in a real life situation or um, to development to lead into further experimentations like, and then they can give you great suggestions of like other artists and other artworks that you might be interested in. Yeah. The purpose of a tutorial for me is to receive honest feedback from my peers and contemporaries and then also different age groups and I suppose the other purpose would be to learn to express yourself and talk about your work in a way that you can convey your meaning to other people clearly and concisely and learning to to yeah just to really clearly communicate your intent with the work I suppose and to find out whether or not that's communicated without your verbal communication of it.